Hey Pan Dudes, Peter Von Panda here. I want to show you my latest purchase. Uh, this is the Bushnell TRS-32 Tactical Red Dot Sight. And I got this because obviously you need some sort of optic for your rifle. Um, and I wanted one red dot and I wanted to go cheap. Um, so that uh, ruled out EOTech. And I was reading some reviews and a lot of people like the TRS-25, I believe. Um, so bigger number, it's got to be better, right? So anyway, I went with this one and, and just by the description, there were a couple things I liked. Obviously, it's a little bigger than the 25, I believe. It has these um, polymer caps that screw on and a uh, rubber... Uh, uh, a uh, rubber lanyard uh, for your adjustments. Uh, this is the package that comes in. It comes with a uh, mount here. Uh, this uh, The bottom will fit on Weaver and Picatinny rails um, and uh, the top uh, clamps onto the, the scope with uh, Allen screws. And it does come with this little pouch here with a looks like a microfiber cleaning cloth and uh, an Allen wrench and it does come with one battery which I've already installed and so the battery goes into here uh, into your illumination adjustment 11 spots and off this uh, just unscrews I used a quarter to open it up dropped it in screwed it back down I've already uh, checked it and it works so okay let's get back to the things I liked uh, one it's actually a little bit bigger as you can see I think the old one was only maybe this long um, so it's it's a little bit larger which was kind of I'm indifferent to but the cool thing is it has uh, flip up uh, covers and what I like about that is I have another scope where, where it has those uh, elastic strings that hold on the covers and you're always kind of like where do you put those so I definitely like um, these flip up covers it would be nice if they went flush uh, when they were flipped up but nonetheless they do uh, protect your optics or your glass and your lenses and uh, they you don't have to worry about um, where they go when you want to use your scope. Uh, five MOA adjustment here, so it's kind of a fairly low end um, optic. And I wanna show you the adjustment uh, screws. I had to, I was looking because you obviously have to use a tool and a dime works. Um, I couldn't get a penny to work or a nickel or a quarter, but uh, a dime works. So if you have a flathead screwdriver, you can, uh, you should be able to to make those adjustments and then these screw on and uh, the they don't have to worry about losing those either so once you get it zeroed in you would reattach all this and and interestingly it's all a pretty tight package I can't actually get both of them on until one is down because there isn't enough um, slack in the, the rubber tether there so I also will quick show you the red dot sight so we'll flip up the two pieces and I'm gonna go ahead it's a nice bright day today so this will be a nice little test we'll go ahead and take a look at the pond there and it's off uh, a couple things here you know you get that little uh, green tinge on the on the, the treated glass and you can see the emitter up here kind of at the 10 o'clock or 10 30 position um, doesn't really get in the way of the the optic but uh, go ahead and turn it on to one here and see if you can see that. And you can kind of see it. Let me see if I can focus on that sucker for you. Uh, I don't know how well that's going to look, but you can kind of see it bouncing around there. Um, uh, that's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. So bright day, uh, I can easily see eleven out there, no problem. Um, I know it might be hard to see on camera, but I can see the one barely, uh, so you could use it. The other thing that I will note here is that, and then we go back off, as I go into the adjustments, let me go back to eleven here, and let's say I go back to ten, it does You know what? What's interesting is um, on someone else's review, I saw that it turns, uh, you lose the red dot in between the clicks. On this one, I thought it did, but it does not seem to. And so he was complaining a little bit that 
um, his uh, his his uh, adjustment knob was a little loose, and sometimes the recoil of the gun would kind of knock the um, the knob just a little off of its its spot, and you would lose the the red dot altogether. Um, but this seems to stay on even when I rotate it very slowly between notches. So um, a nice bright red dot. Again, this isn't the best uh, filming situation, but um, you can see it dancing around there. Dance dot dance. And, uh, you know, overall, I'm, I'm pretty happy, uh, um, you know, for an optic that is going to be significantly less than a hundred bucks and you can get them pretty much anywhere, uh, including online and Amazon. This little Bushnell TRS 35 is uh, a pretty nice deal. So we'll look at uh, mounting this on the gun, taking it to the range and give her, uh, give her a little try. Peter Von Panda, out.